Well, what's going on guys, Nathan with Technology Smash, back with another video. And today I have an opening and unboxing of the Essential Phone. It's actually upside down here, so let me flip it over. Um, I'm doing a voice over here too, so I'm recording separate from the sound. So I'll just kind of go over this real brief, because um, you probably all kind of know what comes with this. So it comes with the phone, a fast charger, a USB cable, and a headphone adapter, because this has no headphone jack. I was able to pick up the Black Moon Color. I got this on Prime Day deal for only 250 bucks, so... That's a huge fall from the $700 that it was on launch. I believe that was the launch price. So we'll just cut this slit here on the right hand side. This is a really cool unboxing experience, which is kind of why these videos, you know, are popular at all or why people would watch anything like this is to get kind of a unique experience on the front here. You just have like a silhouette of the phone. And then on the back here, you have just this little pull tab to be able to release the side of the two halves so we'll peel that off and then we'll just kind of slide the box out like this so you have everything right on top here which is really cool looking so we have the phone first we're going to go ahead and set that to the side then you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter to uh, my, uh, to USB-C and it's really cool it's got that fabric feel in the center and I think the whole thing is metal on the actual sides which feels really premium overall I wish we didn't have to use these but most phones do now go ahead and put that back and then the full size charging cable which is USB-C to USB-C and the whole thing is a fabric cable as well with a little tie that goes around the center if you want to wrap it up uh, really nice cable feels really good I like these kind of cables because they don't tangle and they kind of slide in and out of bags and pockets really easy and then we have the power brick here so we'll go ahead and peel off the plastic this power brick is nice and small um, it has like a shiny almost metallic front and the rest of it's just like a like a matte plastic but it goes directly in to um, USB-C it's 27 watt you guys can pause that and read those stats if you want but what's nice is this is nice and small to be able to plug in like like I do behind a nightstand or something it won't be hitting the wall really hard or have your nightstand far away then in the center here we have an instructional booklet with the sim ejection tool it's really cool it actually looks like the essential logo when it's put together with that circle above it. So we'll go ahead and put that back. And then on the inside here is just a little pamphlet of phone information, like most phones come with. But that one's pretty, pretty small compared to the rest. So cool unboxing experience. Like I said, it's a little bit different. This company didn't do so well. Um, I know they make some things, but or they're going to continue, but I think they're done making phones already. Their next iteration is not going to be coming out. I might be wrong. You can correct me down below if that is not true. Front here has a protective film, so we'll go ahead and peel that off. And the back has some as well. So we'll go ahead and peel that off too. Can't see where it's at. It's at the bottom. Okay. And what's really cool about this is everything is kind of flush with the back of the phone. Um, really glossy, that ceramic back, really cool looking. So you have the flash in the top left corner, the two camera modules, and the fingerprint sensor. But it's all flush and flat. We have the volume up and down and the power button. We're going to go ahead and turn the phone on right now so we can get that started. Really, cl uh, really clicky tactile buttons. Feel really good. There is the... Um, charging port, the speaker grill, and the SIM spot. There is nothing on the far left-hand side, nothing on the top, because again, this has no headphone jack. So we have the boot-up screen here, and what's cool about this phone, it feels really good in the hand. Um, it's a little bit sharp on the sides, but not too bad. It feels really, really nice, and I like the size of it quite a bit. Um, but what you see there is the screen. This was like the first phone to have a notch like that. So we'll go ahead and compare it to the 8 Plus here. And you can kind of see, I'm going to have to get it on a white background here, but you can see that the screen size that you get on the Essential phone is much bigger in a much smaller phone, which is what they're trying to get to with bezel-less phones. It helps small down the size without giving up your screen. So you can see they're both flush at the bottom. Look at how much taller it is, and the phone is way smaller. So the iPhone 8 Plus has always been kind of unwieldy and hard to handle anyways, but... Look at the size difference with a bigger screen. So you're getting a more compact phone that you can put in your pocket or hold in your hand easier without giving up screen. You're actually gaining screen, which is really cool. So 
We're going to go ahead and hit let's go here. Insert SIM card. We're going to skip that and we're going to set up as a brand new phone so we can kind of get through this. We're going to put in the information for the Wi-Fi network. Okay, we'll get that all entered in and they keep updating and sending out updates for this phone, which is really cool. Um, the camera apparently is miles ahead of where it was. Still not the best, but it's checking for updates here and it actually will have an update once it does go through, which is crazy that it already has one. You can kind of see that black bar at the top up there. Um, we'll get to that in a second when I go back, actually. I'm going to go ahead and skip this, skip the account setup so I don't have to go through all that. I was going to put in the channel name here, but we're just going to put in my name since you know my name. I'll say it at the beginning of every video. And we're going to go ahead and set up the fingerprint just so we can see how it works. So we're going to do it with a pattern here. I usually use a pin, but we're just going to go ahead and get this done quickly. Continue, do it again, same thing. And the fingerprint sensor is sort of hard to find. I think you'll get used to it because it is so flat, uh, flat and flush with the back. But just same thing with all of Android right here. You just sort of follow the prompt and touch back and forth, touch on and off. Okay, that's all set up. So we're going to go ahead and hit done. This is a, like a screen to send essential crash information if you'd like. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on. All the Google information, which is the same. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on. And then we're going to hit all set. So adding the finishing touches, there's that black bar. You can see it doesn't use the notch when it's part of the UI that might not be responsive to the notch, so that's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and get into the app drawer so we can see kind of that notch up there. It looks really cool. It comes with almost no apps, as you can see. I'm going to turn down the screen brightness so we can see it a little bit better. See if some of the wallpapers here kind of utilize the notch a little bit better. Um, it does in person really, really well, but on video it kind of didn't, so... I'm just going to go ahead and leave the the one that comes installed on it, just the red background. But it looks really, really cool. I, I, I think it looks great. I like the notch a lot on this phone. You can see it just goes right around the front-facing camera, and that's it. Where, you know, there are some sensors and things at the very top. I think there's even a notification button, but phone feels really good in the hand. I love the clicky buttons. They feel great. Fingerprint sensor is kind of strange here. It keeps having me put in the pattern, even though I'm putting the fingerprint on. Um, it's asking for it anyways. I don't know why it might be doing that, so I'll have to kind of look into that as I mess with this. But yeah, um, for 250 bucks, you can't go wrong. All the earpiece stuff is hidden right up there at the top. You can't even really see it. It's just right there, right above the screen. Um, fingerprint magnet like crazy, but yeah, I'll be messing around with this and uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching as always. I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Later.